method and uh, calculate the value for 0 1 1 0 what is the value of c 0 1 1 0 what is the value for corresponding hexadecimal value 6 is the answer. So, we have to return 6 and then what is 1 1 0 1 for 1 1 0 1 what is the value d. So, we have to given d. So, what is the answer d 6 base 16. Next the conversion of octal to binary. Here the octal to binary we have to separate 3 bit binary equal again the same one 3 bit binary equal and the number will be separated and for 3 what is the value 0 1 1 and then for 1 0 0 1 for 2 0 1 0 and then for 6 1 1 0. So, we have to write the numbers in right left to right order that is the answer. And then for this hexadecimal for the conversion of hexadecimal to binary also we have to separate the number given number and then it is 4 bit binary equivalent we have to return. For, uh, for, uh, for the given number C we have to return the 4 bit equivalent 1100 and B 1011 for 8000 from the table uh, from the table only we are return this binary numbers. Next we have to see decimal to binary conversion using sum of power of 2. We already see this method now 65 base 10 method. Method 1 we are uh, doing this repeated what is this method called? Repeated division method by 1. Repeated division by 1. So, this is the first method we already seen. The next method is sum of power of 2. So, the conversion of decimal to binary again one method what is the name called sum of power of 2. In this method here I am the given value is 65 base 10. First of all you have to return this tabular column. So, power of 2 and then binary number given number will be written like this and then uh, the same method the positional weight power of 2 the weight weight portion is 1 2 power 0 here 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, 2 power 5, 2 power 6 that uh, positional weight will be returned and then here find the largest number of 2 that is smaller than or equal to 65. The given number is 